Okay, so today we're going to do the bib style running attachment. And um, this is part of the English saddle pattern. And I know people have noticed, what's that triangular piece for? You don't have to do the bib style. You can pick whatever style you want. Um, there's the strap style. Um, I, I like this because it's simple and it, it actually gives you the, the look that, you know, that is different, you know, because everybody else is using strap style. All right, so here's our piece. Now, you may want to make this bigger or smaller depending upon, you know, the model that you're using. The, the width should be about the um, distance um, of the chest, but you do have rings coming off, so you've got a little bit of flexibility. Um, this here is definitely size for a T2 pony. Uh, might be a little small for a traditional, but we'll go ahead and make it. Um, I know that's the size that I put on the pattern, and um, once we put the edge on it, you know, it should work. All right, and then we're gonna talk about jump rings. So these are the actual running rings that go attached to the rein. Now, um, I have uh, the, the set that I'm trying to finish up has three 32nd inch rings. So um, I wanna make sure that they're, um, once they're on the rein, they're gonna run freely, okay? So that there's no, you know, they're not too too tight. You could probably do six millimeter, be fine. I'm gonna go with the seven on this to make sure there's plenty of room for the rein to slip right through. Um, and then we need a hook because we're gonna hook that to our martingale, right? And then um, this jump ring to make sure that the buckle is pointing in the right direction. And um, this is a four millimeter, you could use a five, um, but just something that's um, that will fit the um, leather lace. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my hook on there. And then I'm gonna close this up. And I wanna make sure I close it up so that the um, hook doesn't fall off. Okay. Now to edge this, I'm gonna use, this is a 16th inch, all right, 16th. And um, the thing is we want to basically cover it. Now there is a right side and a wrong side on this. So if you wanted, you could like uh, use a Sharpie or go ahead and you know, just make sure both sides are, are um, treated. Um, but what we're gonna do is I want to basically go over, I wanna go up, I wanna make a loop for my ring and I wanna be able to go all the way over on the other side. So maybe I'll do it this way. And, and I eyeball things, I don't actually have any measurements for this. And I want this to come down because that's gonna help me put my hook on. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way up, I'm gonna make a loop for my jump ring and then come down. So that's how much I want. And I'm gonna go ahead and make two of these and then we'll get out a ruler and find out how long they are. This is the way I do it. I just kind of like, okay, that's how long I need it. So let's see, what do we got? So these are coming in at about two and a sixteenth, just a little over two inches. So if you did two inches, you'd probably be fine. But I need that extra strap for my extra little piece so I can get that hook attached. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the glue and I'll start on the back side and I'm going to, um, I'm gonna be a little bit of beveling in here to make sure that it fits right, but I'm gonna go ahead and line the edge. That's what we're trying to do. Just basically do a finished edge on this. And um, I'm gonna do it one side at a time. And yeah, I'm starting on the back. Now, I want this to be able to fit. So I'm gonna put um, a point on it. And that should be about right, so. Like I said, you might want to make this piece. It can be bigger, it can be, actually be a different shape. I've seen some that have really nice decorative top. It's like wavy top. And those are kind of cool looking, but triangle's just simple and easy. And, and most of them are just going to have the standard one anyway, so I'm not going to be able to afford the fantastic ones. So now we're going to want to come down 
and I want to make sure I've got extra because I'm gonna do a fold over like that so Go ahead and put a jump ring in. And then I'm going to fold it over. needle on a stick. Gotta love my needle on a stick. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my hook here. All right, so let's discuss the hook. This is gonna be up against the horse and um, I'm gonna, it might be easier to hook it this way than that way. It, it's your preference, but that's what I'm thinking. Okay. And now we'll do a I'm sure there's a hundred ways to do this. Basically align the edges and get your hardware in place. <laughs> so I'm gonna give myself a lot of fold over, but that's fine. I don't really want a lot of and then the trick here is to a little bit so that it's right there. Okay. Almost perfect. Alright, so the next thing is going to be this other jump ring. And if, you know, if, if eyeballing is not your thing, you can um, have the jump rings right on the edge here so you don't have to kind of do what I'm doing. I want to make sure they're both the same length on both sides. So it's about right. There we go. So like I said, if you don't want to do this eyeballing part, you can have the jump ring right here. I'd make a bigger triangle though. This is make it a little bit longer, I think. Um, and you might have to make these per model, so it depends upon who, what model you're, you're using. So I've got Gem Twist. Um, Gem Twist is the one that models most of my English because uh, it's actually a uh, snowman model, so it's white, and, well, flea bitten gray, I guess. And um, it's been sold a lot of my tack, let me tell you. Good model. All right, and again, we're going to want to do this at an angle so that that will lay flat in there. Now, you could finish the top if you want on both sides. Um, usually, these um, will go in. They're not fixed. They can go this way. Um, the whole idea is to keep the horse's head down and on the bit so that they don't take off. Um, so your preference, um, but uh, there you go, that is your running attachment, your bib style running attachment. 